This is an unboxing video. I had troubles filming this, like cameras or microphones not recording. Uh, eventually I got something filmed. The video is a bit of a mess, but I did stitch it up a little bit uh, best I could with some editing. So let's get started. And so, uh, first thing that I'm really excited about is this uh, Prismacolor set here. Just going to put it aside. And it's, uh, by the way, most of this is from curries.com. It's a amazing, it's my favorite art store. It's only available in Canada. Um, there's only like, some stores, I think, in uh, GTA area, Southern Ontario area, but they do ship to all of Canada. So if you are a Canadian, you can order from them. Uh, what I did was I mostly got art markers and uh, got some two, I tried to get two grays of each. Starting off with these. Windsor Newton. This is pigment marker. I uh, got the, it's called toner gray. Um, I remember I tried to get a cool gray of all the markers and when I looked at the samples online for the Windsor Newtons, their cools looked very blue, which normally cool toned anything has, is, you know, a little, you could see the blue in it, but this was like really blue. Let's see if I can put some screenshots in to, to show it. And like they say on the website that the little pictures they show of colors are, are not exact, and of course they're not exact. And even if you look at them on their their packages, they're not, like their physical packages, they're not exact either. You need to draw it on some paper to really see what it looks like. But uh, I got, they had warm, cool, and toner. So I got the toner one, because it seemed to be you know, the usual cool of all the other types of markers. Okay, so just trying to do the more higher quality markers first and then I got some other fun markers. Just for good fun. Some more Windsor Newton. And these are called brush markers. Um, they are, I believe, alcohol. Yeah, they're alcohol based, uh, with one end with a chisel, one end with a brush. I don't know if you can see it on camera, I'll, I'll include pictures if you can't, but this shows a little, a little picture. Let's see if this one has a, no it doesn't. But it's kind of handy when, because you know, a lot of times people don't, they like, they don't keep up with the art and their artwork, they just kind of do things and they put it aside and then go back to it. Uh, Copic does that as well. They'll have a little tiny picture of what type of end they have on the marker, which is a great idea. Speaking of Copic, I got one. I just got one because I already have a few. I don't have a lot, but I have um, Cool Gray 2, I think. And I got a dark one. I should have got a lighter one, though. But, you know, I got this one. So it's going to be used. Eventually, I will get more. But uh, just try to not spend too much money in one go and just kind of get some money back uh, as I work. And I got some watercolor, not watercolor, water-based marker. This one's really long, so we'll move it aside. But yeah, it's got uh, the brush end and it's got the little nib end, so a nib and a brush. So no chisel for this. Nobody really uses chisels, although they do serve their purpose. Oh, I got two of those. Let's show them both. Again, they got like kind of a, a, a medium and a light because dark does get dark pretty fast and then if you do medium you can just kind of, as, if, as long as you have a good paper, you can just kind of go over it again to make it darker if you do, do need it to be dark. So now this is just some of the fun markers. Oh, and some of this is, was clearance when I bought it, so it won't be available anymore, probably. I believe this was clearance. This is only like $35. It's a really good price for 12 markers. I'm pretty sure that was clearance when I bought it, so that won't be available anymore. Uh, and I can't remember what was clearance, so I'll probably just put in a little notice. I mean, I could just redo this, but I been trying to film this video for so long so I'm just gonna keep going.
and uh, some permanent markers. I mean, these are not as, uh, you know, you can't do as much as you can with like proper art markers. But they're just, I just love permanent markers, they're so striking their colors. And uh, some brush sharpies. Let's see. And that's the end of it. Normally, you know, sharpie is just kind of a plain marker. Ooh, it smells strong. And then pink. I got pink and blue. And these were just for fun. Just I just love markers so much. I think this one might have been clear, so it's got a little price tag on it. Normally they don't. And then I got one paint marker, I think. Yes, paint marker. Uh, this was clearance, I believe. And uh, it doesn't have any paint in the nib. I did open it, it when I thought I was recording the other time. Uh, I think this was the wrapper it came in. I saved it just because I was wanted to show. So that's good. Uh, it'll keep, it's got a little thing to shake it up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put it down into the nib if I'm not using it. But uh, I love paint markers so much, and you know, just a black sharpie. But this has got the uh, brush. I know it's my hand. I know it's want to see how bendy it is. It's actually pretty bendy, so that's good. You can do some nice designs with that. And do some. Yeah, I'm wiping it out my pants, but my pants are black. It's okay. There's not much art from supplies on all of my clothes. I'm not even worried about it. Mm, I don't even know what that's. Oh, that's for something else. We're gonna get to that after. Okay, so remember when I said things were not recording? Well, it happened again. So when I was talking to myself for a little while, that's alright. I just figured out where it dropped off and I'm just gonna continue. Might be too long anyways for one video. Might split it up. So that was all. This was all in one box. Uh, I did make two orders. I was worried about it being too heavy. This box was light as a feather though, so uh, it didn't make any difference. I could have just ordered it all at one time. But uh, those were the markers in one order, and then the next order was all the sketchbooks and a couple other little things that I wanted to get. So. I was going to organize them, but they were already organized in the box, which is really nice, Curtis. Thank you for doing that. Uh, this is a Windsor Newton. Uh, I just did this when I thought I was recording, but now I don't remember. I got a lot of stuff anyways. Pro marker, I guess. Bleed proof. Marker paper. But yeah, Windsor Newton. Great friend. And uh, another Windsor Newton. Pigment marker paper. joints are cracking in the distance. So here's one by Beinfeg. By the way, this you can probably see, but these are wrapped in a plastic, which is nice. Um, I'll, again, I might have already said this, but I'll, I'll take actual pictures of everything and include them just so there's more uh, clear visual on exactly what I got. But yeah, this one, this one has scratches on it, but it's probably from being put in the box and sent to me. Uh, but yeah, Bind Fang, the first um, like real and good sketchbook I ever got. My best friend bought for me when I was 16 and that, that was the brand it was Bind Fang and it was, it's funny because their artwork is a lot different on their on their cover. Uh, it should be a little side by side which would be fun. But I got a second one from, from Bind Fang. This one is marker paper. That one is Bristol, as it says on the side. Uh, Bristol's not wrapped, so I can kind of feel it. It's thick, really thick paper. I'm excited to see how everything performs. And, uh, and then there's this. Artist, artist, can't speak English. Artist marker pad. I guess that's what it's called. Oh no, it's B paper. That's the company. I don't know if that's going to focus. I don't have a fancy. I'm not able to see what I'm actually recording, so it's going to be fun to look at after. Well, what I was saying when I thought it was recording is that um, picture there, it's pretty cute. I feel like people will have things to say. It doesn't look 100% accurate, but you know, 
I'm not really worried about these kind of things. I just enjoy it. It's cute. I mean, that's amazing. So I don't know if it's the same artist all the way through. And they're just kind of showing you, you know. I don't, even, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, that's the cover of it. This one's got a lot of sheets. I mean, all the paper's thick. But that other one that's not wrapped is 20 sheets, and this one is 30 sheets. Anyway, we gotta move on. Because who knows if I'm actually recording or not. I'm gonna find out afterwards when I look at the camera. And this transotype. transotype. Don't, I've never heard of that. It must have just been a brand that they just kind of tried out or whatnot. But I'm pretty sure these are just loose papers, so that's okay. They don't have to be all attached. Some people prefer that. I, I, I don't prefer that. I, pre I like sketchbooks keeping my papers all in one spot, but I'm not upset if they're loose. It's okay. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought this was... I don't know what kind of cover that is. I guess you put your name there like it's a school book or something, but I thought well, that's what the paper looked like. And I was like, that's dumb, why'd I buy that? But that's not the case, it's just the thing on the top there. And then Borden and Riley, I, I do like their stuff. Uh, this is weird though, it does say marker layout. And it does say that it's at the bottom, uh, it's probably not going to focus, but it does say recommended for felt markers, charcoal, pencil, and variety of other mediums, but uh, I know you can't feel it, but I can probably show you, it's very, you know, it's not very thick, you can see my hand through it, I can see it, I don't know if it's going to show on the camera, especially because I'm not sure what's showing on the camera, but you know, take one of these ones, it's got the thick paper. I don't want to bend it down because it will fold since it's more thick, but yeah, that's kind of like how it goes without forcing it. So that's a lot thinner, or more thin, I don't know, English. I don't know what English is. Then I thought, but you know, I'll use it. I'll use it for pencil sketches, if anything. So those are all the sketchbooks, but I did get some other stuff. Uh, I got this palette, and it's big palette. I didn't realize it was going to be this big, but that's okay. This is actually a good thing. I mostly got it for these, because um, I got it for acrylic. I've got a few palettes. I do kind of want to do a video with the different palettes I have and different other, you know, things that I do uh, when it comes to paint. Um, but I got this for acrylic so that it's easier to move the paintbrush around. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone has this thing, but like I, with acrylics I need more space for mixing them as opposed to like watercolor or gouache, it's fine. This, see this little guy here? The palettes I have are all kind of the uh, pots or pans or whatever you call them. They're all around that size and some of them are even smaller than that. Or they, they're not necessarily smaller if you were to like actually measure their size, but just kind of the shape that they're casted in. It's a uh, not a lot of space for acrylics for the way I like to use them. So I got that. It's just so funny because it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I got gesso or gesso, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I got this because the one I have is almost out and I do want to do some more painting. This is the other gesso that I got. I was checking the camera to see if it was still on. It is. We're good so far. But yeah. In case you needed proof that I was almost out, because as if you actually care, ooh, it all looks right up too. That's not good. Might be able to add water to that. If not, I got a new one. I don't know why that dried up. That's weird. Uh, I got this slowing agent, and it does have a word. I'm not going to say what it is, but if you can't see it on the camera, I'll take a nice picture so you can see. That is, that is what it is. That's the name of what it is. That's what it does. That's a real word. In the English language, it means something. But now it's an insult. And I got a color wheel. I know it's dumb. Uh, some people might, might think it's dumb anyways to actually pay for a color wheel. But it was like four bucks. And, you know, you can make a color wheel yourself. 
but uh, I already have enough trouble as it is getting myself to make the art that I want to make. So um, I'm just going to buy it and then I don't have to worry about making a guide. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to spend money on a color wheel if you're if you're ambitious enough, you can make yourself guides. You can do bullet journaling and also painting, uh, but I'm not ambitious enough, or at least that's the nice way to put it. We're not going to get into that, but uh, yeah, I bought a color wheel. Very, what's the word? Scandalous? I don't know. Got this from Curry's, and then as soon as I find it, I got a few stuff, almost dropping everything, I got a few things from uh, Wish, I don't remember how much these were or anything, but uh, I'll see if I can dig up that information and then I'll put it on screen, but yeah, more markers, of course these were super cheap, I hear they're actually really good, um, the ones I have are called Touchify, but you know, you get different names depending on what actually arrives at your house. Uh, these are they're all like pretty bright colors, so we'll see what you know. I'll do something with these, and I do plan on getting more usable colors, grays, uh, skin tones, and that kind of stuff. And then this stuff would be good for like landscapes, even these because you know flowers and stuff. Flowers, in case that didn't actually audio come up, my voice cracked. And I got these these look kind of funny I mean, but it's it's just a pencil holder for when your pencil goes like super teeny tiny which sometimes mine do because uh, I have a favorite uh, art supply and I just use the crap out of it I thought there were three of these I only have two in there so I might have another one somewhere in my room who knows or maybe there were only two either way it was super cheap and this it just says marker on it, but it's probably a fine liner. This was a free gift with these markers. Actually, let's see. I'm just going to open the package. See what kind of marker it is. Oh, a felt tip. That's good. I'll do some nice sketching with that if it's not good enough. That's... Yeah. It's not like the best ever, it doesn't matter, I can just use it for some nice sketching for myself. It doesn't have to be fancy. And I think that's everything. <laughs> so yeah, this is my art art supply haul over the... I guess it was all over the year because I didn't really buy too much art supplies before the summer. If I did, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, mostly art. Curries.com, which is an amazing art store. Anyone in Canada, you should be buying from them. Uh, you'll have to order from them if you are outside of Ontario. But if you're inside Ontario, go to their store. It's amazing. And then a few things from Wish. I feel like they've got some more stuff from Wish. I don't remember though. But this is this little pack here. Little bun bunch here is from Wish. The rest is all Curries. They did sell these, I have to say. I'm just really cheap. It was like $12 at Curry's for one of these. This was probably a few dollars, so, and for two of them. Sorry, Curry's, but you know, gotta save my money. So I got it from Wish. I found some art supplies after I filmed, and I'll just include some pictures of them. I got uh, some white pens from Wish, and uh, micro eraser refills by Tombow from Amazon.ca. So, if you made it this far, thank you. That was my unboxing video. Uh, one note I want to add is that at the time of editing, some of these were not available, but they could be available later on, and also they could be available on Amazon or their own manufacturer websites.